Hey guys, so it's been 3 months since I've owned the Porsche Boxer Spider and I've taken them for loads of drives and since then I've done a shy of 7,000 kilometers. Now needless to say, she's been collecting loads of stone chips. Uh, I've always been holding back to do PPF or paint protection film in some areas of the world, they call it clear bra. I hold back that decision because I wasn't sure which brand to use until recently I found out that Windshield Malaysia actually carries Expel. I've heard lots of good things with them, so I decided to drop by to find out more about them. After a quick consultation with Adi and Darren, uh, Adi is clearly a veteran in this world and uh, he showed me that there are lots of repairs that I needed to do, even respraying my car, there were dents I have to fix before I can start putting on my PPF. So I was kind of bummed and taken aback that I have to now spend more money because I held off an important decision to protect my car, which I delayed. Oh well, so lesson learned and I uh, hope by sharing this experience helps you to see what we can do to protect our loved ones in the future. And then in this case, I mean loved ones, I mean our cars. So um, in these coming two episodes, I'll be sharing the whole process and so how much it actually costs in the end to uh, now fix up my car and protect it. Okay. So this is a, a two-part series where in the first part, I repair the dent first and then send it to be resprayed. In the next episode, we're going to do the whole PPF process. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button and please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want an update in the future. Don't forget to turn on the bell notifications so you get an alert when a new video is up so you won't miss it. So with that, enjoy these two episodes. So the journey to PPF starts with repairing dents on the car and some of you are probably wondering what do dents have to do with PPF? Well, imagine this, the surface they are dented inwards. Number one, it's more difficult to install the PPF on the dented inwards areas. But the second more concerning point is that there's a risk of air bubbles or you know, water bubbles. Now the areas that are not dented have more adhesive strength than the areas that are dented inwards. So as a result, after you know being exposed to sun and driving and stuff like that, there is a risk of the adhesive being let loose and then it'll start collecting water and a bubble and just look horrible. So to reduce that risk, you might as well just make sure the surface is nice and smooth so the adhesion goes well. And that's the advice I've been given from Expel uh, Windshield Manager. And uh, something really interesting throughout this whole process, whether it's the denting and painting, I start to realize that all these people that I've been introduced to are more than just, uh, you know, doing some labor work. They are actually artisans in their uh, given, you know, field. They're actually really good at what they do. After years and maybe decades of experience, this is the result of uh, being able to execute the repair extremely well. So just watch how Johnny does the repair on my car. So after finding the dent, Johnny places some adhesive on the dent spot and attach a suction mechanism. And what he does now is using this um, equipment to inflict upwards pulling force to pull the dent out of his hole. And you can see it's a very uh, slow process with a lot, of, a lot of attention done. So this went on for two rounds and after which the dent is completely out from its body. But however, now the surface is not smooth. So what Johnny does is very carefully and gently knock these uh, imperfections back in so now it's a smooth surface. Check out how closely and how focused he is to gently knock back the imperfections. Uh, after that process, clearly I have no idea what he's doing but you know, it looks good. <laughs> looks like this is a very, takes a lot of experience to do this. Uh. I'm so glad that uh, D from Windshield Malaysia and uh, recommend me to, to Johnny. Yeah. Let's take a look after this is done yeah, to see what it's really like. <laughs> and look at that, as good as new. And just in 20 minutes, we fixed a dent with uh, Johnny over here. Uh, I highly recommend Johnny's work. He is in Surigamangan. You can find out more in the link in the description below, Johnny Dent Pro. Do reach out to them and find out more about uh, how he can help you with repairing your car as well. All right. So after the dent is done, we're going to head over to the paint shop. Uh, to paint the car but before that let's inspect the damage on the car because that is atrocious 
Hey guys, so right now in uh, Ultra Tune, here in uh, Glen Marie, and uh, I'm here to get my car uh, consulted about the paint. I'll touch up before I go into the PPF process, so there are lots of uh, stone chips. Some of them, beyond polishing repair, that you can look at that, it went into the base paint, it's gone. So there are lots of stuff over here, even here in front over here. So this is all from uh, me being a little bit impatient. So all these, all these are, are a lot of stone chips over here. I just want to quickly document all of this because this is the, this kind of reason why you need to protect your car, especially if you're going fast now. You know, so this is gonna cost me a little bit of money, but I thought to myself, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna PPF the car, I want to make sure that it's, it protects something that looks nice, right? And uh, with consultation with uh, with uh, Windshield Malaysia, uh, they told me that they can PPF this, but it will look like little blemishes so it will kind of bring up the imperfections a little bit more so uh, it's best to fix it before I put on the PPF so yeah this is the result of not taking care of the car so you know, yeah a lot of a lot of blemishes over here so lesson for me guys is that uh, always always protect your car especially if you're going to go fast with your car look at that as well this one Woo. all right so all of this is going to be repaired and I'm going to repair something else as well uh, here's my key pop you can see well this is not so this is the one that i use the most you can see that i got to fix up all this little paint that fell out from the car right so that's the one that I used the most and this is the one i've gotten it's a use key again that uh, it's always little damages slight ones over in front of here i'm gonna get them touch up and uh, i'm gonna ppf these guys as well yeah so if you look really closely the bumper and the hood has actually different colors so we're gonna fix that as well through respraying uh, the process took around four days and uh I mean, highly recommended the ultra tune because uh they will choose they'll make sure i get back the same factory color from porsche and uh yeah so with that this, this is gonna this process is gonna happen around four days uh to four to five days and then they're gonna cure it really really fast so i can put my ppf on all right so that's the process of this so our painter, Mr. Chun, has more than 20 years in the industry of spraying, repairing bodies and doing basically body work for cars. And he reckons that I don't have to respray the whole car to achieve a uniform colour. And uh, he seems very confident about it. But then again, he's more than 20 years in this industry and they're using a very high quality brand from PPG. Uh, they're also an OEM supplier for a lot of factory paints out there as well. So this whole process starts with them carefully removing the bumper from the car and this is where um, if you're not careful you can break hooks and hinges and that will be uh, will delay the whole process and cost a lot more money. So next up they proceed to send the whole panel versus just the parts that need to be repaired. Now the reason why they do this is so that the whole panel will achieve a uniform level of paint thickness. This is rather important if you want to have a beautiful finish. And this is a step often avoided to save money or save time but in my opinion it's just not worth it and in ultra tune they only do this level of approach next we proceed to apply primer across the whole panel and this is to allow the paint to stick onto the car and this is a step sometimes avoided by certain paint shops again to save money and to cut process but i personally experienced it before where the front bumper starts to crack or starts to peel off this is because the primer is not applied properly up next is the painting and which is the part that really blew my mind because this is a combination of technology and years and years and years and practicing and perfecting this craft of body painting. So what they do is they use the computer to mix up the paint and how they do that is just typing in the car's model and the colour and the computer will just mix up the paint to achieve its factory level colour. Now this is where it really shifts everything. They take that colour and they make minor adjustments and make sure that the color matches its current color because remember the car has been registered since 2015 so since then the color has slightly changed and they check it not just under uh, one kind of light under sunlight under dim light under white light to make sure that the paint can match the other parts of the car so this part in my opinion takes so much experience and this guys just nailed it on the spot so next up, they proceed to spray the car in an enclosed area and this is to avoid any dust being stuck to the car during the painting process and of course it's an oven so it encourages the drying process as well. And after inspection and uh, achieving the car's paint 
quality that they want, they proceed to then spray on a lacquer as well, which is what we call the clear coat. Okay, and this is what gives the gloss and protection to the paint itself. And uh, after all that is done, they would uh, leave it to dry in the oven and also under the sun. And then finally attaching all those pieces back to the car before the final polish. So the final polishing process is rather important because this is where you inspect the car to make sure that there are no debris or dust stuck underneath the paint or the clear coat. And of course, we do polishing to reduce the orange peel effect on the car. And after all that is done, let's go and take a look how this car looks like. So we are here now back in uh, Ultra Tune and I'm here to collect my uh, Porsche Boxer Spider. And my oh my, see, there is no, you, you wouldn't even know it was spray painted before. The fenders were painted, the, the front is painted, the, uh, the, the, the front uh, bumper, the hood is painted, and uh, all the previous little scratches and rock chips, all gone. <laughs> I wouldn't even know if it's spray painted. These guys are really, really good at what they do. I'll give you a reference, right? This is not spray painted. This is painted. But you look, I couldn't tell. I, I really couldn't tell. The only thing that gives a difference is the bumper, plastic. Huh? Plastic always have a difference, but you know, if you really stare at it, you will see. So some of you are probably wondering how much it cost me this whole process for spraying the bumper, the hood, and also the fender. It's a total of 2,500 ringgit approximately. But of course, the way it looks right now and the outcome, I'm super happy about it and I just couldn't ask for more. I highly recommend UltraTune and Mr. Tune services. And if you want to find out more about them, there's a link in the description below. There's a Facebook page. Send them a message, say hi and uh, make an appointment. Drive your car over there. Let them inspect your car and give you expert advice on what they can do to make your car look good again. So UltraTune does more than just respraying your cars. They do everything from restoration to maintenance to repair. Basically a one-stop solution for your cars. And they are also the official uh, distributor for Brembo brakes and also Capistro exhausts. Now in the future, I'm going to upload another video of Matten and Mr. Tune walking me around the whole process in uh, UltraTune on their spraying and repairing process. If you, know, if you don't want to miss out that video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss the video when it's out. Thank you so much Mr. Chun and Ultra Tune for making my car look amazing again. And oh, by the way, they also respray my key fobs so they look amazing again. So this concludes part one and in part two, I'll be taking my car over to Windshield Malaysia which will be doing the final touch on the Porsche before installing uh, the Expel paint protection film on my Porsche. And I'm super excited about this part and I can't wait to reveal this episode to you and if you want to find out more about that episode and you want to get an alert, please uh, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get an alert when the uh, video is up. And let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this whole process? Okay. So with that, thank you so much for tuning in. Until then, uh, keep it 100%. Love you guys. Peace out.